Okay, YouTube, it's uh, Friday night, probably around 1 o'clock in the morning. I don't know. I, I came home, took a little nap, fell asleep, but I want to get these brakes done. Uh, I got tomorrow off, and I'll try to lower this truck tomorrow for you to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to show you what the brakes should look like on this S10. Uh, you've seen the old calipers, and I'll show you the new ones. Here's the new calipers. Let me see. And as you see, I mean it's brand new, but if you main thing is, you see, let me see if I can get this. You take notice where this uh line goes now. It doesn't go up and around and hook uh, hook down in there and do that loop thing. It's actually in the proper space spot. You probably can't see it, but it's where it's supposed to be. And then when the, uh, your suspension cycles, see at the uh, top A arm going down, it'll go up and it, it's in a uh, proper cycle right now where it should be. Uh, the only other thing I gotta do is take this clip off. I'll, I'll put the clip on backwards right here, but that just pops off. I gotta get one for the other side. Now I'm gonna go show you the other side, but as you see in the bleeder, I am wrong. I stand it corrected. I was telling you the bleeders wasn't supposed to be there. I really wasn't sure. It's been a long time. But I'm trying to get it where you can see it. That bleeder does go that direction. So this side might have been uh, the bleeder was right but the actual caliper was wrong and you can see the bleeder there so they do go that route but uh, I need to get the clip for this side as you can see right here clip is missing but they're all together it's all cleaned up uh, make sure you see right there it still needs to wipe down it's got fingerprints you got to get all this stuff off because it'll mess up your brake pads not at a you want them clean and that little bit of rust right there as you see, that is not going to hurt anything. As soon as I go ahead, uh, hit the brakes once, twice, it's going to clean that right up. But uh, that's how the brakes are supposed to be done properly. I still got to put shocks on the front and get the sway bar in links. But uh, I can lower without doing any of that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set it down. I'm going to get some measurements tonight on film what the rod height is and all that stuff and then we'll go from tomorrow we'll lower it and I'll let you know what uh, how I lowered it and how it uh, how much it lowered it and in my lowering kit not including the brakes or anything that's totally different I'm thinking I have because I'm gonna do it all myself I paid like 30 couple bucks was fifty six dollars for the blocks and that little piece or so something like that so 60 bucks to lower this truck. So, till next time, uh, next video, maybe tomorrow I'm hoping. Depends on what the weather is. I know I'm inside and everything, but if it if it's real nice, I might do something else because this is just, like I said, a play toy. So, uh, until then, let me know what you think and uh, you got any questions or anything if I can answer it I'll try and if not maybe someone else I know whatever but uh you got any questions about the S10s or whatever if I if I come across it I'll let you know thanks for watching bye okay uh we're at the point where we can measure everything and rough it's gonna be a rough measurement because every truck's gonna be different depends on where you're setting and uh what it is and whatnot but rough estimate my back bumper is roughly 17 inches and I measured the front uh, is 15 and a half so you have 17 and 15. Now I'm gonna check. You check both sides because where you where you're setting it might be off a little. 
This one's about the same. 17 and 15 and a half in the front. And the backs are at 17. Let me do a, uh, because I know a lot of people do the uh, door checks and everything else. So I'll do a door check for you guys. Let me see. And right now, my door is 14 and a half. So, uh, they're all the measurements of what it is. Let me see if I can, probably can't zoom out anymore. Nope. But that's the measurements of the way it's set right now. And I did push on the front and make sure the front went down and set where it's supposed to. Because if you just set it down right off your uh, jack stands and put it, it might set up a little bit. I want to make sure it's about right. So tomorrow we'll end up uh, cutting the front. Two cools. And only one cool off. No more. You cut any more off. And you ain't gonna have any suspension on the front. It's gonna be hitting uh, the front. The, the bottom A arm is gonna hit the frame. But actually, it'll move a little bit if you take the bump stop off. But it's not good to do if you like a real rough ride. But uh, at everything as you see, we can do a. I don't know if this door is unlocked. No, I say we do the door check on that one for you. But uh, you got 15 and a half on the front and 17 in the back on the bumpers. And then when I, when I lower it, I'll measure it again and let you guys know what type of gain I got for what, 60 bucks. And then we're going to start on some body work and some other modifications. And I'll show you guys all that stuff. So, I mean, here's the truck right now. And then uh, you'll see what it looks like later on. I mean, I'm going to take all that stuff off the back window. I'll tent all the windows. Definitely got to tent the windows. And then uh, I'm going to pull this bed off. The bed. And I'm going to fix that den over there and do some other stuff. And then I'll start collecting more of the air ride. And I'll show you guys all the air ride as it progresses here. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.